Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. My name is Jason and in this video we're going to talk about how to fake a smash leak. Um, I know that's kind of a silly controversial topic but hey I thought it might be fun to try. Um, so if you saw my other video where uh, I do somewhat of a poor job of creating a convincing uh, leak. Um, I Honestly, I really do like Super Smash Brothers, and I'm super excited, and I thought I would pick characters that people feel pretty sure are going to be in. Uh, so we have Shadow here, and if I click on this, uh, it'll probably just take me to Sonic's page, I would think. And Geno, and Skull Kid. So let's talk about how this was created, and it's pretty simple to do. A lot of people are... I'm sure already aware of how to do something like this, but I do a lot of uh, tech related videos. And so I thought that I would um, make something like this just to show how you could do this. And I think it would be a really fun idea for people to, they could clear this entire thing out and just fill it with nonsensical characters and kind of have fun with it. I would also like to see people uh, if they have um, the ability if they're going to say, here's a character that I think would be really good, this would be a fun way, I think, for them to kind of do it, is just pop them in and see how they look with everybody else. So, let's get started. So, the way we do this is, uh, let's go up and we'll take a look at, you know what, let's create a brand new character, but we'll look at how we uh, can create one of these. So, a simple way to do it is, if I go in, now I'm using uh, Firefox, so if I go in and inspect the element, it'll take me to the HTML code here. And let me drop this down just a little bit. Oh, come on, go. Why is this not going down? There we go. All right. So I've got these different uh, fighters here. And if I kind of scroll through, I can see when they highlight. I can see which ones are which. Okay, so there's the shadow one that I made, and here's Sonic. So the way that I went about this, I'm just going to delete this node. Okay, and that pushes everybody back and offsets everything. And if I go to the one that's Sonic here, and I just right-click on it, I say duplicate node, it gives me a duplicate of Sonic. Now if we twirl this open, we have some information here. Uh, some of the things that we can go through and change, like if I drop this down, and one more. Okay, so I have some information here. These are, uh, I believe, where they have the uh, kind of background for this. Uh, if we go down a little bit further, we can see we have the name and number. And we'll just open these up. So there's Sonic's name. Okay, so I don't want to change this one. I want to change the duplicate. Okay, let's not mess up... Uh, Sonic. So we'll go ahead and twirl this open. We can see here fighter list name. So we'll just go in and change that to, oh, let's call him Hank. Hank's a good name, right? Let's go capital letters because they're using all caps. And you can see there it changes his name to Hank. Hank looks nice. Now, let's just type in shadow. All right. So there's shadow. And he's going to use the same, uh, symbol here. I don't know if it's Epsilon, but it's a little E for Echo Fighter that they use. And uh, I'm, I don't know what the key is to press to get that in, but luckily if we go up to Daisy here, and we just scroll up a little bit, there's Daisy. We can go into hers, and we'll go to her number. So right here to number, and I'll twirl that open, and there's the little symbol. So if I double click on that, I can just copy that. I'm not certain how to type that in specifically, but we'll just close that one up. And we'll come back to Sanic here. There's Shadow. And where does number go? Okay, number. So we'll twirl these open. And I'll just paste that in. Okay, so now if we go back down to Sonic, and we hit Enter there, we'll see it gives us the little E symbol there, and it says Shadow. 
Now switching out the image is a little trickier because they have the, uh, the little icon here as one image, one PNG, and then they have Sonic as another one. Now, I was trying for a while to get the one for Gino, and uh, I ended up making this one of a star with a little keyhole, which uh, is a reference to part of Super Mario RPG. And I just thought it was a cool looking uh, icon to give him. But um, I could not for the life of me get this to replace. Anytime I would, it would delete. So I kind of cheated. I deleted the one out of there and I gave him another one. So uh, that background uh, or that uh, icon image is a, a little bit tricky. Uh, okay, so here is uh, Sonic's image. Now, what I ended up doing was I went to a website, and I'll just type in uh, PNG image hosting. And pulled up this image BB website. All right, so I went to this website, imagebb.com, and I said start uploading. And here's an image that I made in Photoshop. So if we open up my Photoshop here, uh, we can see that I've got this. Actually, what I'd done first is I uh, did a screen capture of one of the buttons uh, that they have for King K. Rule, and then turned him off there, found an image of, uh, of uh, Shadow online, brought him in, and I did the same thing with Skull Kid, and I found some images of Tattle and Tail uh, here, and I brought them in. There was also this overlay that they had that darkened any of the images. If we look at King K. Rule, we can really see it, um, that he's got this gradient to him. So that was something that I did over on the side just to uh, help with Skull Kid. I also, you know, I used this image, and I'd love to credit the artist uh, who created this, but I honestly, I don't know um, who created this specific image. Let's get rid of King K. Rule there. But I found this one, and I just edited a little bit, so uh, I made a grayscale version of it. And I had gone through and tweaked some of the values on these and overlaid them in different, uh, uh, overlaid them on top of it, and I uh, got this, and I put this gradient. Found images, like I said, of uh, Tattle and Tail. Uh, made them transparent a little bit so that way when we highlight over them we can see that the background goes behind them. I thought that made them look a little nicer at first I had them opaque a little bit and it just didn't look quite right and it also made uh, Skull Kid's name a little difficult to read behind there so I just made them transparent so we could see through that part uh, which I think helps with the overall effect all right so if we go back to Photoshop, okay, so that's Skull Kid's one. And I ended up making this image of the star for Gino. And again, found an image of Gino. Again, I'd like to credit the artist, but I, I really don't know who created this specific version of him. And I did the same thing. I had these different overlays just to uh, kind of change him uh, up a little bit. And I saved his image with the star in there. And luckily, it brings it in in the right place. Uh, for the uh, overall PNG. So that's how I got around that one. Now if we, let's minimize Skull Kid. So if we look at Shadow here, his was easy. I just found this image, saved it. Um, and originally I was only thinking of doing Gino, and then I just started having fun with this. So I went to this website, start uploading, and found my, oh, there he is fake shadow image that I got, hit upload, and I can inspect this element and it'll give me the uh, web address here, the URL. So I can just copy everything up to HTM, uh, HTTP all the way to PNG, so I'll copy that. And when I come back, I can go to the, let's make this a little bigger here, and go to where it says PNG, all the way to this other parentheses and paste that in. And when I hit enter, uh, it should swap them out. So that's basically how I did this. So what I'd like to do is do one from scratch and do a character that I think would be really fun to see in Smash. Uh, so we'll turn off uh, Shadow there. And I will open up an image. Now, 
this one, luckily, I did find the artist uh, because I got it off of uh, DeviantArt here. So this guy here is the, uh, I'm guessing the original artist. He does have it signed down there. Uh, Dayron Red Fire. Um, so I just saved that. And I'm going to just crop the amount of it because you're only going to see a very small amount. So I'm just going to crop about to here and I'm gonna hit control J with that selected and it will duplicate whoops didn't want to close that out there it'll duplicate the selected part there and then I'll just drag that into here that way I don't have to try to cut the entire image out because that's gonna be a pain and this might look really bad uh, but uh, at the very least it'll be kind of funny all right so maybe we'll make Kevin here Captain N, something like, something like that. That's probably going to look really bad. Yeah, let's see if there's any way to fix that up where he's not going to look so bad. Yeah, I think that looks better. All right, now I'll go through and, ooh, those lines are going to look real bad, but that's all right. So I'm going to do a really kind of crappy job of selecting here of what I want to keep. Oh, this is going to look bad. And I should have turned off my snap function there for... Oh, God. Okay. Let's do this a better way. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right. So we'll just kind of select different parts here. And just use the pen tool and kind of go down through Move that one over a little bit. And we'll just select different parts out of here. Move that down a little. Still isn't going to look great, but that's all right. Uh, all right. So we'll select and delete that part first. So we will select, where's select? Make selection, looking for the wrong word. And I'm gonna feather this by like, I don't know, one pixel or so. Okay, so we'll just delete that out. That way I get kind of a softer edge around here. And you know what, let's just turn off my snaps and we'll do this a little quicker. It's, it's going to probably look like garbage either way, which is why I didn't use something like this. I tried to use higher res images. Uh, oh, God, that's really bad. All right. And go in here and scoop out. Yeah, this is pretty low res image anyway. And we'll put his collar back here. All right. Oh, wrong way. Jeez. All right, all right, so we'll modify our selection. I'll feather it again by about uh, one, just so we can get a little bit of a soft edge there. And oh uh, yeah, we still got this part of his gun. We'll use the polygon selection, because these are kind of angular. Oh man gonna be so boxy all right I'm sure I got all kinds of people hating me this is uh, recorded directly after I made the other one that I posted and um, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people hating me for making a you know fake video but I just thought it would be kind of fun and fun to show you guys a different way of doing a you know get people interested in tutorials for one, but just a fun way to show people how to make really crappy fakes. Not that there's not enough of those going around. All right, so we got Kevin here. Uh, so I'm gonna duplicate Kevin. We'll see if we can't get something a little nicer uh, for his look. So we'll desaturate him. I'm gonna bump up my levels here. 
This just will kind of make my blacks a little blacker and my white a little whiter. And that way we can have a little bit of contrast on him. And then, ooh, too much. Let's just go, don't like that either. Let's do a color burn and we'll back it off a little bit. So maybe like a 20%. See what that looks like before and after. Yeah, it's slight. And that's really all I'm looking for. Maybe do another one. We'll do a soft light. I like soft light. Kind of lightens things and darkens things a little bit at the same time. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's kind of pixelated, so we'll see how this looks anyway. Now, again, he's like Gino. He doesn't have a an icon. Um, so I'm going to use N because he's Captain N. Um, we'll set up our color here. And kind of line this up. That's way too big. Let's set this to 50. Yeah, that might be good. And we'll have to pick a better end than that. That's a that's a crummy end. Let's make this a bit bigger so it shows up well. Okay, let's get Gino's star out of there. And we'll go through. Mm, that looks weird. That's not a good one. Uh, I want an uppercase N. Let's see if we have anything. I already tried that one. We may just go with impact. And we'll just make it a bit bigger. Maybe wider. Yeah. What a great logo icon thing, right? Super good. All right, so we'll save this out. Save as, fake smash, PNG, and we'll call this one Catman. By the way, if you don't know who Captain N is, I'm mad at you. Okay, so we'll save this out. Uh, that's fine. And we'll save the original. All right, so. Let's pull this back open. Thank you, uh, Dayron, or however you, Darren, maybe, for posting that. All right, so we'll go back here and we'll just add a new one. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of Bayonetta. Who's with me? All right, so we'll take Bayonetta here. We'll just do inspect element. And it typically will open up whichever one we're working on. There's Bayonetta. Let's upload our fake image. There's Captain N, open. Okay, so we'll save image, uh, sorry, inspect element. And, oh wait, I didn't upload. Did I? Nope, upload. And now we can look at it. And inspect element. There's Captain N. So we'll just copy that, control C, and we'll come back. Bayonetta, you're, you're gone. So we'll get rid of Bayonetta. All right, now I'm gonna have all the people who really like Bayonetta cursing me. All right, oh yeah, so see, she still has her icon there. So we'll just get rid of that, this mark. Um, I couldn't find, anything really to fix this but if you put in the wrong information it deletes it so we're going to do that boom so we got an n uh, he's not number 63 so we'll just uh change his number so he'll be number 70. let's change his name Captain N. Yeah. I like it. I would really like to see Captain N. I mean, that was such... It's a terrible show now if I rewatch it. Um, but I got to tell you, 
when that show was on, that was my childhood. All right, we'll just drag him down to the end here. So he appears here. And there we go. Those, that's my pick for a new Smash character. And that's basically it. <laughs> Obviously, he's a little too cartoony. Uh, I couldn't find a really good 3D version, but, um, you know, that other one we got was good. So, yeah, hopefully you guys aren't too upset about my uh, really poorly done leaks. Um, I don't know, maybe people will think they're better than poorly done, but they're, they're not great. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you won't unsubscribe because uh, I got your hopes up and then, you know, nothing came of it. Maybe they will announce Gino and Skull Kid. I'm really hoping they still do. Definitely Gino. Uh, Skull Kid, you know, I don't know. There's uh, a lot of stuff out there that points to maybe, uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm wondering if he won't become a boss rather than a playable character myself. And then Shadow, I think that's a pretty much a done deal. deal. A done deal. All right, I'm going to stop talking before I make anybody else hate me. So thanks. Bye.